This video is a collaboration with Aussie Romantic Gaming. They are a talented artist when it comes to making sims. They have a YouTube and Twitch channel, and they also happen to be an Australian author. So I would say check out their Twitter account, check out their YouTube account, and I will link everything in the description below. And on with the video! Hey there everyone, this is Phantom Games, and throughout this video you're probably going to be seeing little mosaics here and there throughout the footage, but it's actually because YouTube has very strict guidelines as to what can be shown, and somebody had actually reported one of my other cast videos, so I would love to not show this stuff. But I can't show nipples because YouTube is run by Puritans. Hey there, Phantom Fam, and welcome to the spooky season. Woo, spooky. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while, and I love it. <laughs> okay, so the theme of this particular video is a theme that I and Aussie Romantic actually thought about. And the thing is, is like, it's going to be kind of a cute theme, but also not so much because it has to do very much with the whole concept of the seasons themselves. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating a visual- Ugh, I can't speak! I can't speak! Ah! <laughs> but I can't- uh, where I'm going to be making a female representation of a concept and that concept is death. I mean, I don't think that it's too weird making a death-related thing for this particular season because the whole theme of the season of fall is that everything is coming off the trees and the all the plants are just kind of just like going and it's the time of the year where the harvest is done so I felt like death would be the perfect fit for my character and her character is actually going to be a male physical representation of life which is kind of the gist of fall winter and then spring again which is death comes takes all the leaves off the tree and all the stuff getting everything ready for the winter frost and then the eventual renewal of those plants in the uh, the spring. And so this is what I was trying to do, along with kind of giving her sort of a spooky feel. I wanted her to be spooky and sexy and cute and just all these things combined. But like, I, I am so indecisive. Like, note, my phone meowed. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, um, the, what I was trying to do in this video is not so much try to make something that is a uniform look per se. I wasn't trying to make like a sort of evil looking demon type, but more along the lines of a vis visual... Uh, I can't speak, I can't speak. A visual representation of what death is in our culture and modern day media and all that. And what we commonly view as death is kind of something exciting, something mysterious, something that is bone and all this craziness. We fear it, but we also know it's going to happen regardless. And so the way we view death is kind of how I wanted this character to be portrayed, which was kind of, uh, like I said, I wanted her to be cute. I wanted her to be uh, sexy, I wanted her to be mysterious, but I also felt like the perfect representation is to show somebody who kind of looks like, even though they're um, a very attractive looking character, they're also kind of a overall motherly character. Because overall, like, whenever we think of death, sometimes we also think of comfort. Because there are those who are suffering basically from, you know, getting older, having all these ailments, having all these things that they're struggling with, or if somebody has cancer or something like that. I thought the perfect representation of death would be somebody who seems overall beautiful, caring, but still kind of mysterious and dark. Um, 
a lot of what I have viewed as death is something, it's weird, but like it's based off of this stuff that I read later on in life. I might have read it earlier in life because I kept on having these dreams when I was younger about particular people and no joke, they fit so well with the theme of this book. So there's a book by Neil Gaiman called, um, Into I think it's called Enter the Sandman or the Sandman series where death is actually represented as a female character, which I don't know, I kind of feel it's very fitting for death to kind of fit that type of role, being dark and mysterious and beautiful and just overall that actually fits the theme very well. And I know a lot of the book itself was more based off of concepts and giving visualizations to these exact concepts. I mean, there was a character named Dream, which to be honest, I don't know what they had to do with dreaming, but based off of their design, I think they were supposed to be the whole idea that when you are dreaming, you are some, basically, you're assuming a particular role and you never know how it's gonna go. And that particular role can be dark and mysterious, but it can also be exciting and different. And you can see things for what they are or visualize them as something different, which I think is the whole point of that character. And so when I was making my death related character, I decided I'm going to take little bits of that and then take little bits of other things that I have personally experienced myself, which is, okay, so ever since I was younger, I've always had physical illnesses. So I've had a few <laughs> stirs with uh, basically almost dying from being hit by a car when I was younger to having a lot of physical illnesses like I got like rubella when I was a kid and a few other things that should have killed me but it didn't. Um, I also got some things when I was older that basically caused problems as well but overall I actually did know that based off of meeting death and meeting the angels of the afterlife so to speak I renewed myself in life and I think that's the whole theme of fall in a nutshell is you're acknowledging the overall going from uh, life to the peak of life to basically going down and dying and before you know it everything's gone and then going back to the way it is it's a cycle and that's kind of what autumn is along with which the spooky season kind of celebrates that which is like it goes from being up here you're you know celebrating death ce celebrating life um there's actually a holiday in uh in mexico called day of the dead i think they also have it in other countries as well but this is the one i know the most about which is uh basically they dress up and they celebrate their ancestors by leaving little things on their graves. When I was designing this character, I was also thinking about that movie Coco, where the family celebrates the Day of the Dead. And it was just like so incredibly cute because the way that the movie basically showed how the connection between being together, being family, having an overall love for one another, even when everything is going and seems like it's dark. I felt like that was actually a pretty good theme and it fits Halloween, it fits fall, it fits overall what goes on during this time of the year. And so I wanted death to kind of represent that, kind of like the whole feeling of familyness and motherhood and love and Basically, I just, I wanted overall death to seem like something that's not just scary, but also comforting. Because, like, in some cases it can be. Basically, from something going, something good can happen. And I know this is basically feeling like me repeating stuff over and over and over again in different ways. And to a degree, it feels like that to me. But I feel like if I'm going to talk about a subject and why I'm designing it a specific way, 
I want to make sure that people know that the reason I'm doing that is not just to fill up the 10 minute slot, which I heard is actually not a thing anymore. I'm not entirely sure if they put that through yet, but this is more of me just saying why I designed the character the way I did. I originally wanted her to have these big luscious wings and long hair, basically to show kind of like an angelic type feel, because I know that a lot of people when they say that they see death, they view death more like an angel rather than this hooded figure that comes along with a scythe and stakes- <laughs> I can't speak! Takes your soul and all that. No, like a lot of the times when they view death coming, in most cases, I guess if they're not a bad person, it's usually something sweet, something pure, something beautiful, and overall just something that is worthwhile and honest and pure. I think I'm gonna end this here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, comment, and subscribe for more spastastic content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, goodbye, mwah! Thank you.